Welcome along to Bally Spring, episode 39, possibly our biggest harvest yet, with me, this gaming man. Hello everybody, welcome back to Bally Spring. We are in the 1st of September. Um, quite a few things have happened since you last with me. I've harvested a lot of the fields. Um, we've harvested the wheat field, we've harvested the oat field, we've done the canola field. The canola, well, OSR field. Canola, as it's also known as, it was quite good. Um, quite good yield off the field, actually. I was quite surprised. I'm sorry if you can, you might be able to hear in the voice as well. I'm, a, I'm suffering a bit. I'm, I've got like flu or something, so I'm really struggling to like breathe and talk at the moment. Um, I'll try and keep the coughing, spluttering, and general dying down to a minimum. So, you see, I'm putting some wheat in there. I'm going to use our grain dryer to dry it out. So we've already had a delivery of um, wood chips to, to work the um, the grain dryer from a local um, tree surgeon. He's dropped it off for us. So that's already all in here. So I'm going to put I'm going to try and put some uh, wheat in here and hopefully get this dried off. And hopefully we should get a better price for it. All being well, all things good. We've also got our oak field that needs harvesting at the top of the uh, of the map, and that needs doing. Um, yeah, and also we're going to harvest our field bean field today. So I've never done field beans. You also see in the background there, over there, in the next field I've done some silaging. That's all been done. Trying to keep on top of all jobs. We've also cut the alfalfa field as well off camera. That's all been done and baled up. Uh, I've got a little bit of oak so we can dry that out. We get a massive amount of oat from that field um, over the road. Really, I mean it's only a small field, and also the yield is never going to be particularly good on it. Just drive this round. I'm going to park this up in here, and I'll set it all off to start drying. And hopefully, we should get a good price for it. Good little mob this. So we're going to dry our wheat and we're going to dry our oat. The thing you can do is is um, is barley. That's the other crop you can do. So with that all firing off and working, we shall head over to our field bean field. All the kits already there. The local, one of the local farmers has allowed me to park the combine harvester in the field, um, which is pretty good. Got quite a bit of milk as well, I think, that needs taking up to the dairy. Um, also harvested. No, we've not harvested the clover yet. That's not been done. I was thinking I've done. I've done that, but I've not. So we're getting closer, gradually closer. To FS25 being released. How is everyone feeling about it? Oh my word, this is like carnage. He's gonna have to wait for me. How's everyone feeling about um, FS25 then? Um, have we got any glitches that are gonna appear in the game? That's my concern. And you always get glitches in games and stuff, but like you tend to get more glitches in games these days and we ever did is, is like I mean my era of playing on computer games was Commodore 64 uh, Commodore Amiga and yeah we used to get glitches in games and stuff but like we never had the opportunity to like update the games over the internet so when games were released they had to be finished they had to be bug free so when games come out these days I'm sure they do test them, but I'm pretty sure they're not as rigorous as the testing as what they used to oh, as what they used to do on some games. 
It's just easy to download stuff with a patch now. But yeah, that's my that's my little rant over, I guess. I suppose as well with like old computer games as well, they didn't have so much RAM and stuff for like running games and stuff. We didn't. So games that have come out now are like you know even the most basic games now is pretty amazing really. Like graphically, that is. I'll have to pop this on. In the edge roller. Try and move this out of the way somewhere. Oh, can't do that. Stuck on it again. Surely that's alright now. Jumping through the undergrowth. Causing all carnage with the traffic look in the background. Hopefully that's alright there. Ooh, in the wrong side of the field look. Alright, got to unfold it. Lovely morning on the on the golf on the on the golf course on the farm. So yeah, so this is our new this was our new field being built, but we fertilised all up. I think we should be getting like a hundred and twenty four percent yield, maybe hundred and twenty three percent yield. So hopefully we should get a good yield on this. I think where we lost the yield is it wasn't stain picked, it had already been planted by the uh, by the computer, by the NPC, farmer, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, so that's why it's not been stain picked. So I reckon if we got if we stain picked it would have probably even a better yield. Well anyway, I suppose I should carry on harvesting this field and we'll do a bit of a time lapse. Well, yeah, before I actually do a time lapse, we've reached 150, over 150 subscribers. So, thank you so much for subscribing, everyone that subscribed. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please smash the subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit, I'll hit the like button. Anyway, enough of my advertising. I shall carry on and we'll do a little time lapse. A hard speed to the city street. We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night
So that's the field bean field all done. We've got another field bean uh, field over the other side of the map where the, I guess what I, I always call it, the parsnip, what was the parsnip field? Well, that's on the opposite side, that is, of the trailer. So, so we've still got another field bean um, field to do. But I think that's quite a good not a bad yield, I don't think. I think that, about 14,000 maybe? Possibly 13, 14,000 litres. So I don't think that's a bad yield at all. Like I say, sorry, I'm struggling a little bit with. Um, I think it's like a flu I've got. It's horrible. You get cold sweats and I'm all bunged up. All my sinuses all bunged up, and yeah, I just feel rubbish basically. Not good at all. So, how much have we got of there? Yeah, 14,000 litres. 14,000 litres and 47. That's not bad. Can't be bad, can it? Line this up. Right there, I think. I guess we'll travel up to the other field. Um, go and travel up to the other oak field I guess because um, it's kind of the order that we're in. Um, yeah I think I can go left up here and then chuck a right, right. Oh, see Daisy. Go on then. Now I've just crashed into you. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take this up there, and then uh, it's very picturesque around here, I must say. It's a great little map if you've not played it before, Bally Spring. Um, with its custom animals, you've got baby animals and stuff, it makes it a little bit more special. Which we're going to be getting in FS25, which in my opinion they should have done, done that in FS22. They should have had baby animals, in my opinion. But we're going to get them in FS25, so that's all good. Nice little tractor there. We'll wheel off. So yeah, just trying to work out where we're going. Uh, is it left hand air? Possibly. Yeah, left hand turn here, I think. Makes sense. Hopefully, won't meet any cars coming down the opposite way. Now, well, that could be interesting. But yeah, there's such, so many nice, cool little areas on this map. We need to go and visit that castle, don't we? We'll have to do that. So I'm thinking this is going to be the penultimate episode. There's going to be one more after this one. Um, all being well. Um, so yeah, so I've really enjoyed this map. I know I said that I was going to sell off and move on to another, another map. But kind of with FS25 coming out, me also having a baby doing it. Um, kind of it put the collie, not the collie bosh on it, but it kind of like held things back a little bit. It, kind of yeah kind of like uh, put the muckers on it in a little bit but it's fine I really appreciate everyone that stuck around and watched this series and I really appreciate all the likes and stuff it means a lot so our wheat field is it a wheat field or is it a barley, barley field I think it is I'm pretty sure it's a barley field we bought this after we harvested the parsnips because we made enough money off selling the parsnips. Um, so yeah, nice little Fiat tractor coming down there. Very nice.
I think soy be uh, soybeans, field beans, we're going to have quite a good yield because of that other field, the part what was the parsnip field, I think that's got quite a good yield on it. So, should be all tickety boo. I think this field's quite a big field as well by the looks of it, it's quite deceiving. Quite deceptive. Right, go get this in here. With the right fight, I bet. Oh, mate, not that bad. And spin it round there. Leave that, and I shall go and pick up the combine. Got bees actually in all our fields, actually, now. All helps with the uh, harvest. I wonder what our yield is we're going to get in this one. 23%, I'm happy with that. 123%, not 23% because that's nothing. Right. So, nearly up there with the uh, harvester. Getting there slowly but surely as he crashes into the dry stone wall. Lovely. So yeah, so what I'll probably do is I might set a worker off up here for a, for a little bit until so we're going to empty our field beans out of the trailer. Possibly. Uh, don't know whether to do a run round the head because whether the uh, worker will end up getting a pickle with it or you know what they're like. You know what workers are like. End up driving it off the map or something, I'll end up losing all my crop or something stupid. We're there. We're there now. Back up here. It's quite a wide area around this field actually. Let's um, drive it down here. Try not to destroy too much of the crop buff. Not that I'm going to destroy the crop, because we've got crop destruction off. I know I should probably have it on. Right, what have we got? straw sloth on. They want to keep the straw really, don't they? Seems stupid really when we're uh, such a big big field. Yeah, like I say, it is quite a big field. It's quite deceptively how big, quite deceptive how big it is. This is like one of the fields that's kind of like on the edge of the map, so I'm kind of worried if it's a worker off, it's going to be in that hedgerow over there, off the map. I'm sure it won't be that bad. Can it? If I take a run down this end, Surely can't get into trouble. This field is massive though. We're going to get a right good yield off of this. Absolutely. 42% full already. Yeah, it's barley. It is barley. I've got to do two runs down this end. So, 
big old straw around as well. It's a big old straw. Yield of straw. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go empty in a minute because it's nearly full. Quite an epic amount of straw. The farm's going to be alright, the cow's going to be alright for the winter. Alright, let's set the worker off. And I'll go and get the tractor and empty the, empty the field beans out of it. Again, we're racing against time in this episode because it's due to rain a little bit later by the looks of it. So I don't know if we're going to get the field being done as well because it's going to be raining. We'll have to see I guess. We might not even be able to get all the hubs in of the barley. What a nightmare. We'll have to see I guess. Well, that's the weather for you, isn't it? What is the weather for you? This trailer might be just the, just the job for the um, for the barley, though. Being a, it's about thirty, it's about thirty-six, thirty-seven thousand liter. It's one of the bigger ones, anyway. Like I said, I think, I think I said the other week. I actually saw a red one of these on the road near it not far from where I live and farms around our way have, have been absolutely running to the hilt they are, they're all getting silage in they're doing like uh, maize harvests and stuff chopping it up with a forage wagon forage harvester there's just loads and loads and loads of like lorries loads of, not lorry loads tractor loads of, um, of silage Chaff, whatever you want to call it, it's not really silage, it's chaff, isn't it? The chop top maze. Going back and forwards. Like a tag team. Is it the field? Oh, he's right in the middle of it all, isn't he? Oh well. Look away, this isn't very realistic because it isn't. A good amount, of, good amount of straw in this field, I think. Like I said earlier. Right, so that's that done. I'll go and get this emptied, emptied out. I'll go and get this on the side of the field, and I'll take over from the worker. run around there. It's a bit easier to get in. So this is a massive thing. This is going to get a good yield off of this thing. Mm. Just a bit. Yeah, so I guess I'll do a... Carry on with this and we'll do a bit of a time lapse and I shall speak to you shortly. And see how we get on.
so that is the harvest done on this field as you can tell we've started raining not the most ideal situations so we're going to lose a bit of the yield from this field but this field has done remarkable I think um, I don't know how much yield we'd have lost I don't know how much yield we'd have lost who knows Yeah, pretty good yield really, but yeah, we're going to lose a bit because we've harvested in the rain. Not great. So the weather has beaten us again. But I think this has been a massive harvest on this field. I think it's probably one of the biggest harvests we've done in the series, to be honest. It's a great field, that is. Um, it's definitely worth buying it. So we'll try this back to the yard now, put a bit of lights on, a few lights on because it's dark. Yeah, I think this is going to be quite a good harvest for that field. Like I say, we've lost a little bit, I don't know how much we'd have lost percentage wise, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments, I don't know how much we'd lose at all. I just figured let's get it finished, get it done, or get it in the drain in the grain dryer as well. So it has been useful to buy that. Kind of it doesn't really doesn't really have an effect as such on the grain drying as such because we don't have grain moisture in plants in other than harvesting in the rain I guess. doesn't really affect it too much so it will, it will increase the, the, the amount of money we can sell for the, for the grain if the grain's dry if you get what I'm saying it would be quite a good addition to the new game if they did that crop moisture a bit like what they did in Seasons in FS19 a very good addition to that So whether I get my um, field beans harvested on the other field is, a, is yet to be seen, I guess. But we've got one field of field beans done. All being well, we'll get it all sorted. All, all sorted. Yeah, it is absolutely tipping it down. Typical harvest weather, isn't it? Let's get this in there. It's definitely worth buying the grain dryer, I think. It's a good little addition to the farm. I think we've improved the farm as we've gone along. I think we've made some nice little changes. Nothing too drastic. very difficult because the numbers are changing um, about 56,000 litres something like that something like that I think so that's a pretty good that's probably our like I say that's got to be our biggest biggest um, our biggest harvest I'll stick this in there because it's keep it dry it's got to be our biggest harvest in the uh, in this in this series. I think really chuffed with that, really happy with that. I love the trailer. It's definitely worth buying a trailer this size because 
carting all that barley down. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So I think that's all we've got time for. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome as always. Um, please don't forget to leave a like if you want to. Please feel free to subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share the video. You guys have been awesome. I've been this gaming man. And until the next time, we shall see you soon.